So this is just the first look at the game on graphics scanner. Um, I teach ICT and it's going to come in quite useful, especially when I'm doing uh, drawing packages and graphic editing packages. Nice large box, I'll have a quick look at what's inside. Okay, that's coming quite nicely packaged. Let's get that out of the way. Soft padding there to protect it in transit. The usual kind of thank you card. No, that's telling you how to download the drivers and the manual, so I'll get that later. You've got the tablet itself, nice and large, good size. Okay, as you can see, it's 16 to 9 format, which is more like a monitor. You've got some markers on there. Looks like you've got 10 buttons there and a roller wheel or something there. Okay, and some nice little rubber. They are actually rubber on the edges there, some rubber feet to hold it in position. And there's your power charging port, just in there. And a little kind of handle thing at the end there. Not sure yet what that's for. You have got yourself the little stylus or pen in its own little pouch. Looks quite nice. Okay, with uh, buttons there and a button on the end. I'll have a look at that later. And in there you're going to have yourself probably some spare bits and pieces, some spare nibs and what looks like a, a nib extraction tool to help you take them out and put them in, contained in a nice little pouch which is always nice. Inside we have, can't get to that, we have a quick start guide which I'll need to have a look at, looks quite well laid out, straightforward, very straightforward. Okay, I'll have a read of that in a second, and um, we have something in here, there's our power cable, just to confirm what everything is, these keys here at the top and the bottom, they're considered to be express keys, this is your touch ring, that's actually a pen jacket over there, so you can, put, you can see that I put the pen in it for storage, and that's the main working area. So I didn't get a, a disc in with my box, but it does say if it doesn't come you need to go to the Gammon website, which is where I am. I'm going to go to the support and driver download. I'm going to select my model which is the M10K and wait for that. You can go to category if you want to but driver and manual but I'm going to get both. You've got the Mac manual and the uh, Windows manual so I'm going to download that and I'll leave that to get on with it and then I'm also going to come back and you see it's downloading at the bottom here. I also want the Windows driver, so I'm going to download that as well. So I'm going to let them download, um, and then I'm going to open up the app and see how it goes. So the two files you download will be zipped. You've got a user manual and also the driver. If I'm just going to double click on the user manual first of all, you can see it's there. If I come back to it and right click on it, you can extract it and extract all of that. And I'm going to do the same for the driver. I'm going to right click and I'm going to extract that and extract that here as well. Okay, give it a little time to do that. Let's see if the user manual's done already. There's the user manual and I can open that if I want to have a look. Okay, so there we have our user manual fully downloaded. Come back to here. Okay, gives you all the extra details if you've lost your manual. All that and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to go to the drivers now and have a quick look. We want the driver, Windows, setup. So I'm going to set up the driver. Hopefully, it'll set up some software with it which will allow you to configure the buttons as required. Pen tablet driver, next. Again, the wizard is ready. Click install to begin. Install. Okay, and that's it ready, all installed, and uh, obviously I need to reboot before I can do anything. Okay, and then I'll click finish. Something to be aware of in use uh, with the actual pen itself is you've got this top button, and that acts as an eraser, so for rubbing things out. Your side button here, that acts as your mouse right key function, so all right keys for bringing up menus. And finally your pen nib, as well as drawing, acts as the, the mouse left key function. And that's quite useful when you're using it, especially in mouse mode. So I set up a, a 
uh, drawing package just to start with, but I want to show you the settings you can get on the tablet itself. I'm going to press the middle button in between the scroll wheel and that brings up your um, pen tablet settings, okay? And from here you can go and you can draw on things and check it out that it's working in that area and clean that off. Um, there's a variety of things you can do. You've got your pen settings, obviously initially you can check the sensitivity of how, how much it detects the pressure and you can use that wheel here, go from 200 down to zero for your sensitivity if that's what you want to use. You can also change the nib pressure from a nib click sensitivity or tilt sensitivity but I'm going to leave it on nib pressure sensitivity. You can also choose what that uh, right button does. The, the button on the side there, you can choose whether it acts as any of these things, scrolling up and down, disabling, whatever you like, um, when you're happy with those. And you can check what you've done over here to see if it's working properly. Okay, uh, I can try dropping the sensitivity down to there and see how it detects. I've got to press a lot harder for it to work there. Okay, and I guess they're expecting you to use it around about 100, which is regular. You've also got your mapping, so this allows you to map your whole screen and you can see that if you put my, oh, there's some markers actually on the tablet itself, I'm going to put them into the top corner and they should go to the top of the screen there and the bottom right corner one is down here and you see that the mouse is appearing down in the bottom right hand corner and it covers the whole parameter neatly of the actual screen. The mouse doesn't, uh, the, the pen doesn't actually have to touch the tablet as such it's quite responsive at about half a centimetre away. Okay, And this is where you can either map part of the monitor or a full monitor, change it to a left or right handed mode, um, go to auto settings and also if you've got more than one screen you can set which area of the screen it responds to. Key settings are for your main 10 keys down the left hand side of the tablet itself. Um, you can click on any of these and choose what you would like it to do. Okay, it's up to you, you've got those choices, and you've got those choices for each one. You can choose each one um, all the way down. Okay, there's 10 to choose from, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and there's 9 choices within there. Okay, Ooh, let's come back to that again. There's also the mouse wheel, which is the roller in the middle. Um, it's By default it's the mouse wheel, but you can have it disabled, or you can have it the scroll and zoom. I'm just going to leave it now as mouse wheel. So once I'm happy with that, um, I'm going to use it now to just draw some simple stuff. Oh, I hit the right mouse button by mistake. Sorry. So I'm not on that. I need to go over and actually select a pen tool. And I'm going to select some chalky grainy. And there you can see I can draw. I'm just doing it quite lightly and now a little bit firmer. Okay, it's much more accurate. I am no artist at all. All right. Okay. On this package you've also got the pressure studio which is up here where you can now actually test the pressure responsiveness of your um, pen. Okay, I can set it and calibrate soft strokes and then draw softly and get it to respond to that, how hard I'm pressing. Okay, And then I can confirm that and define it and, uh, and likewise I can do the same for firm strokes and press a bit firmer and calibrate that okay and then close that so that's it pretty much calibrated within my program okay, just something I have found is that the initial click onto the tablet needs to be slightly firmer than the actual drawing so if I just lightly move across the surface it doesn't really pick it up that well if I click first and then I can release and now I'm drawing very lightly and it's responding nicely to it so it needs a little bit of a click first for you to be able to pick it up yeah, that's me drawing with it there. And that's me drawing. And you can see that it's responding up there. Okay. Okay, I have been such a fool. <laughs> I really have been. I've assumed that uh, to use the eraser, you have to actually press it as you're drawing, but it's quite the opposite. You turn the pen round and you rub it out like that. So if I show you now, I'm going to draw on that um, test area up there, for example. Let me just get this sorry, not in the right area. Yeah, if I draw up there like that and then if I turn the pen round and I do the same thing you can see that I'm rubbing out. Okay, I guess it's going to depend on which package you're using for it but um, yeah it does work and I just thought you had to press the button 
<laughs> but you don't, you just turn it around. Silly me. Okay, I've also realized now that um, the three things, these are not alternative settings, these are actual settings for each one. So you can choose your nib pressure sensitivity there and use the dial here to change the sensitivity of the nib itself. Likewise, you can then just change the nib click sensitivity and make that more sensitive or less sensitive to a click. And likewise, for a tilt sensitivity, you can have it responsive to more or less tilting. And once you have a use save, they're not exclusive, they actually all work together. A little bit of trial and error has also shown me that when you're choosing your nib pressure sensitivity that goes from uh, 200 down to zero, I've actually found the opposite to what I thought. I assumed that 200 would be very sensitive and zero would be not very sensitive, but I've actually found the lower you set it, the uh, it actually becomes more sensitive. I've got to save it enough first, and then it should. I don't have to press so hard when it's on a lower setting. It's quite, it's more responsive. 